Good morning, everyone. Sharon Sherling here. I actually, I think it's afternoon. Um, I hope that you are all doing well today. Uh, it's a great day here in Irving, Texas. This morning we went out and got some, uh, did some uh, really good um, uh, errands. We had to go to the DMV and register some vehicles, and we got that done really fast. So that was nice. Uh, so this, this afternoon, I would like to talk a little, I know it's running because it is so allergic out there. Um, this morning, or this afternoon, I wanted to talk a little wee bit about branding yourself and drawing people to you. Uh, and when I talk about brand, you know, we talked about branding yesterday, and I, now I want to kind of get you to the point where you're thinking about how your page is branding you. Uh, you know, we've all got our own personal profile. I have also a, a couple of business pages for both of my businesses. And um, I really, uh, you know, want to help you to understand the kinds of things that you need to do on your personal page that's going to draw people to you. You want to interest people. You want to attract people. Uh, so you want to make your page as attractive as possible. So in other words, you want to make sure that people are, you know, you know, looking at your profile and going, oh, this would be a great person to know. Um, she seems really interesting or he seems like he knows what he's doing. I, I really want to get to know them. So, because people do check out your profile and, and uh, you know, make your profile as interesting as you can and, of course, as truthful as you can. Um, you want people to be attracted to you and to your page. So there are some things that you should get rid of on your page. And that is uh, any kind of negativity, spam, you know, negative jokes, negative, um, you know, things going on. And not that you don't want to be real, but you don't necessarily want to get on and just uh, throw up your bad day on, on your Facebook page. Um, the other thing is, um, you know, spamming your product. If every other post you have is a picture of something to do with your product, people are just not going to follow that. And therefore, you're not, Facebook is not going to give you any priority on anyone's page. So you need to uh, just recognize that spamming people um, will get you um, taken out of people's feed. Political posts, inappropriate jokes, uh, any mention of the company that you work with. As I've said before, you want to brand yourself. You don't want to brand the company. The company is already spending all uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars to brand themselves. You want to brand you. And we talked about that yesterday. Um, uh, so start posting some very positive content um, uh, and, and try and... Um, post content that speaks directly to your target audience. And I just want to take a time out here to kind of talk to you a little bit about who your target audience might be. So um, it's really important that when you know you're talking to your audience, you're you're talking their language. So uh, in my case, I'm in health and wellness, and I do post a lot of uh, wellness stuff or, you know, interest tips about, you know, how to stay well, who needs antioxidants, those kinds of things. I, I, you know, I do a lot of that stuff because, you know, that's the audience that I'm talking to. I'm talking to people who are interested in health and wellness. Um, and, and I've really sat down with a pen and paper and thought about what is it that my target audience looks like and every guru that you know will say this that if you don't know who you're talking to don't start talking so spend a, a few hours because it can take a little bit of time depending on the product that you have to determine just who your product you know who is your perfect what is the picture of your of of this perfect prospecting client and it may be a different kind of person if you're also trying to to build a multi-level business. If you've got a direct sales business, you're just, you you outline who that perfect customer is and, and that's all you really need. So ask yourself, are they male or female or both? Um, you know, like if you're selling jewelry, you may 
you know, target men who want to buy for their significant other. But for the most part, you're talking to women. How old are they? Is your jewelry, you know, going to attract young women or older women, all kinds of women? What, who will buy your jewelry? Um, uh, are they single? Are they married? Have, do they have children? And does that matter? Does any of that really matter? Um, what kind of job do they have? If you have a pricey product, you want to make sure that these people are not just unemployed and looking for their next meal. You want to be sure you know you're talking to someone that can afford your product. Um, what is their pain point? What is it that will make them buy? Um, let's say you have some high-end jewelry that you are selling and um, you know you want someone who can number one afford it you want someone that maybe you know i am home all day long i don't need high-end jewelry i have a few little diamond pieces and i am good to go but uh and i you know i wear my wedding rings when i go out i'm not a big jewelry person in the first place but i don't i don't work in a professional office uh my daughter just bought a really nice watch because she is in a in the executive realm uh, and, and needs to look like a professional so is your person is the your proper person like a professional person or is it someone who just likes a little bling and loves to wear jewelry you need to know those things and know what their pain point is um, if they follow you do they have do you actually have a solution for for their problem so in other words i have like 3,200 followers. It's ridiculous. And I would probably say that maybe 300 of them actually see anything I post. And maybe another 25 or 30 of them would actually qualify as my, because they're seeing what I, and they probably see stuff every day. I have no idea what whether those statistics are right, but I just have the idea that I know that I do not have 3,200 you know, eyeballs on my page every single day. Um, but, you know, so you need to know who's following you, what do they look like, do you answer their pain? So, you know, take some time to look at profiles. When you get a friend request, when I get a friend request from someone, um, I go out and I study their profile. Is this someone that would benefit from anything that I have to say? Is this someone that would benefit from any of my products? Um, you know, is this someone that, um, you know, I could speak to on any kind of level? Um, you know, or is this someone, you know, that's going to ask me, you know, have I heard the good news, which there's a whole scam going on out there that just irritates me and those people get blocked immediately. So, you know, I, you kind of need to determine that. Um, so, you know, you need to just figure out who you're talking to and do that, you know, almost before you do anything else because uh, you want to make your page look attractive to whoever is is your target person. Um, I want to just say, you know, it's fine to have family and friends follow me. I have tons of family and tons of friends that follow what I do, um, but they're not all my target customer. I, you know, they're family and friends and they're people who love and support me and keep my page kind of going. So, you know, that, you know, there's not a thing wrong with that. So, uh, but for the most part, if you're trying to build your business online and you're using Facebook as the platform or the primary platform, then, you know, these are just some of the things that you need to know. So I just wanted to say that if you need some help trying to figure this out, I do have, um, you know, some, uh, you know, extra things that I can offer you. Or if you have some questions, just um, drop help in the comments below. If you found this helpful, please just drop yes in the comments below so that I know that some of the, the information I'm sharing is useful to someone. So I hope that whatever you're doing today, um, you uh, are having a great day. I hope that wherever you are, the, sh the sun is shining and that you could be the sunshine in someone's life. Have a great day.